Hi, Gleba Alexandrov here, and let's talk about how roughness can change the way we think about materials. Roughness can help us get such effects as dirt and puddles, the mud, frosted glass, ice, and this from this tutorial, actually. Metal and uh, rough metal, even more rough metal, that is concrete, maybe, or whatever. So, what is roughness? Of course, roughness is a property of a glossy shader, but what does it mean? Right now we see the object with a zero glossiness. It means that the, ref the reflection is ideal. And now we turned up the roughness and the reflection start to get blurry. At the 0, 0 0.5 it gets even blurrier. And we no longer see the reflected environment clearly. And when the roughness is set to 0 0.2, the object becomes almost diffuse. And at roughness set at 1, it becomes totally diffuse. Now I want to talk about very important concept, variable roughness. When we use a texture plugged in roughness input of the glossy shader, we can achieve such effects as metal, ice, all sorts of stuff, really. So let's plug the texture in the roughness input. Now I'm adding the curve adjustment so we can tweak the roughness. And as you can see, we have already got something interesting. Let's preview the texture itself. This is how it looks. And let's move the curve. And just by moving the curve, we change the whole look and feel of the shader. Oh, and note that I have the distribution algorithm in the shader set to GGX. So take your time, experiment with it. Okay, the next step is ice. And ice is nothing but a roughness too. Here we have a reflective plane. So let's plug in the texture. And after doing this, we should get the appearance of an ice. Oh, here it is. Once again, let's play with the curve. I wanted to know that we doesn't tweak anything but the roughness. And we get our results very fast. And that means we are doing things efficiently. Less work and more impact. So, as you have already guessed, the frosted glass should relate to tweaking the roughness value in some way too. Okay, fine, so let's create the glass shader and connect the output of the curve to the input of this shader. It seems that we have reached the end of this tutorial and this is the call for action. Visit my new page called Creative Shrimp and press the like button. Oh wait, actually I have something special for you, I'm uploading this video to YouTube right now.